Chicago's airport system, O'Hare, Midway, and Meigs. Chicago Aviation includes the world's busiest airport. O'Hare International may also be one of the most diverse places on the planet. Chicago is a global hub. Travelers from all over the world, representing a number of nationalities, countless cultures, and a variety of religious beliefs, respecting these differences is important. In your security role at Chicago's airports, you'll be wearing the uniform of the Chicago Police Department. Every action, every encounter will reflect directly upon the department and the city of Chicago. Security and vigilance are vital, but so are awareness and sensitivity. Without ever compromising security, it is important that you acknowledge cultural differences. It is imperative that you show respect and extend courtesy to those we serve. We understand the law enforcement community has to do their job and we fully support them. We also understand that if they do not do their jobs properly that there is a risk and we understand that and we support that. But the only thing that we do ask is that you do it in such a manner that you understand some of the religious sensitivities that we have or some of the cultural sensitivities and do not be disrespectful in the manner that you conduct your safety checks. A turban is a, an article of faith. It's a religious article of faith. It is not a hat. It's not a cap. It's not a headgear. What I have here in front of me is a turban. Okay, what it is, it's a piece of cloth. Okay, it's a piece of cloth which is anywhere from five to eight meters, which means about anywhere from 15 to 15, uh, 15 to 18 feet long. And it takes a seek anywhere from 15 minutes to 30 minutes to tie the turban. It's very offensive for a turban to, say, to take his turban off. That is like asking that individual to remove his pants and board that plane. Okay? It is such an offensive request to make or an offensive directive to make that it's very humiliating, it's very hurtful, it's very uh, emotionally damaging to him. Because of our history, because people have sacrificed their lives, and it is such a dishonor for the Sikh American community, and the baptized Sikh specifically, to remove his turban law enforcement officer can go ahead and wave the metal detector. If the metal detector sets it off, the law enforcement officer, instead of telling the individual, can ask his permission, would you mind if I pat your turban down? Okay, And this is in the FAA guidelines. So what he can do is pat the turban down, and one thing we do recommend that instead of patting it down publicly, that you do it privately. It's very important to remember that religious attire carries a very ingrained belief in the individual, a belief willing to fight for, a belief willing to die for. It's a belief, uh, it is surrounded with honor and holiness. We have to accept that that is the religion of the individual. At the same time, the officers have a mission to do. If that mission leads to them to have to encounter that symbol of religion and that belief system, that strong belief system that lies behind it, the officers again have to be extremely polite. They have to be firm. They have a mission to do and a job that they have to carry out. They have to explain each step of the way. It is pointless to get into an argument over it. The way you avoid the argument is to stay on task. Yes, sir, I understand that this is very important to you. However, we must. And if they throw an objection, yes, sir, I understand this is very important to you. However, we must. Stay on task. Don't get in an argument. Don't get sarcastic. Stay focused. Stay polite. Accomplish the mission and then thank the individual for doing, for cooperating with what it is that we needed to have done. So I'm just as concerned about security as my fellow Americans are, um, and I would be more than willing to undergo um, security um, as long as I'm not singled out. Um, and in terms of going through security just like everyone else, I understand that there may be a need for me to remove my scarf um, just as people are being asked to remove their shoes, which is understandable given the circumstances and given incidents that have taken place. Um, I would simply ask for reasonable accommodation so that um, if you would like me to remove my scarf, um, I'd like for it to happen in a private place. I'd be more than happy to cooperate as long as it's not in public because my religion doesn't allow me to remove my scarf in public in front of men who are not part of my family. And asking that I do it right then and there at the security booth would be 
asking me to violate a principle of my, of my faith. And when you're talking about the diversity of the American population, when you look at Muslim Americans who may look different, people like me who wear a beard, it is re religiously mandated to a large degree. So to me, this is a, there's a sanctity that attaches to my appearance. Now, of course, under the current circumstances, I may be picked up based on certain profiles that uh, security officers are expected to follow. I understand that. Uh, that has happened to me on many occasions as I have flown, and I've been singled out uh, for uh, security checks. I totally understand, I've cooperated, I fully support the concerns of the public as well as the officers in making sure that, hey, I'm not a security risk. At the same time, however, I expect the officers to keep in mind that they are performing a service on my behalf as a citizen of this country. So I expect that element of courtesy, that element of respect to come from both sides. I give the respect, but I expect and demand a counter element of respect and courtesy. And I'm sure the officers would be happy to provide that. But that element has to be there. Another aspect of reasonable accommodation is that if you're searching a Muslim woman, um, have a female officer do it. Because there's a clear delineation between the sexes in our faith. And there's not supposed to be any touching of people who are not related to each other. The best way to calm fears and take away the apprehension of the person you're talking to is number one is to be polite. Explain what you're doing. Be very direct. Repeat the directions if you don't think the individual has understood it. Welcome them. Start out the encounter with a welcome to the city of Chicago. I need to and then explain the actions that you have to engage in and afterward be thankful. You know, thank them for participating in the, in the task that you had to do. Those are the things that leave two impressions. Number one is that we are non-threatening, and number two is that we are serious about the business of protecting people who are coming into the city. The Archbishop of America came to Chicago for a visit, and he arrives off the plane with all his religious paraphernalia, his hat and veil, an outer robe which has long black sleeves, like angel sleeves, an inner cassock which is almost form-fitting, and then under that would appropriately be your pants and shirt, of course, and shoes, whatever is appropriate. Um, coming, leaving Chicago and going back to New York, his eminence went through the security and his hat caused a little stir because there's a veil worn over this hat. And if you take the veil off, you'll notice that the hat has a tiny hole, an eyelet. And the eyelet is made out of metal. And this creates the alarm to go off. That's fine. We can un take off a headdress with no problem. It's, it's, you just ask and he'll do it. Uh, for some reason, the security personnel wanted him to disrobe more, ask him to take off his outer robe, which is fine. The outer robe is worn in streets outside, even in the church, that was removed. Then the security personnel ask him to remove even his inner robe. At this point now we're getting to uh, almost asking someone to take off their, their coat, now their suit jacket, now their vest, now their shirt. Now, it's analogous to taking off layers and layers of clothing, and this is the only uh, the thing that's form-fitting. It's against the body. There's Really, you can't, he's a thin gentleman. You can see everything you need to see. You can pass a wand over him, but to ask him to remove his robe was insulting. There is one thing the leaders in Chicago's diverse religious community have in common. It's a great respect for law enforcement and a great appreciation for heightened security. So what I can share with the law enforcement community here at this point in time is that we are all Americans. We are all Americans. We're in the same boat. We understand that security is utmost important because if, if the security officials are not doing their job, everyone's at risk, including Sikh Americans. We would just want to have equal, fair treatment, and with respect to Muslim women, um, reasonable accommodation when a search needs to be conducted. Take an interest, too. Ask a question. Our bishops wear a beautiful icon. It's usually jeweled around them around their, um, on their chest called an engolpion, and it's an insignia of their office. Oftentimes when my bishop passes through security, they say, that's beautiful, may I see it? And he says, of course. And that's a nice way of, say, of making an examination for security purposes. That's a beautiful thing you're wearing. It's a beautiful piece. What does it mean? Take an interest in the religious garb that they might be wearing at the time and ask, just like you did, uh, is it Father, is it Your Grace? And they'll tell you. you know, they'll, they'll explain that to you. I think when people take an interest 
others are willing to teach. And it may sound facetious, but the smile that you put on your face, the softness with which you, you will deal with uh, an American who is going through a security check, that will play a significant role in how we perceive the officers are performing. So keep that in mind that we are all in this together. We share this concern about security together, but we are all Americans and we want to tackle the issues, but let's do that together with a feeling of understanding. And together we can do it. So we are in this together. Let's not assume that it's an us versus them situation. Uh, you are enforcing the security. We would like the security to, be, uh, security to be enforced. So if we can combine and do it together, we are a, likely to do a much better job at coming up with a peaceful and secure atmosphere. The first commercial they see, either about America or about Chicago, is their encounter with the police officer. And we literally are the commercial for the city and for what we represent in the Chicago Police Department. So those encounters are very, very crucial to the image that we have of this organization. At our airports, safety and security are first and foremost. But there's a right way and about a hundred wrong ways to deal with the public while you're trying to keep them safe and secure. Make it a point to be aware of cultural practices. Try to know your religious leaders. Be sensitive, polite, and courteous. It's good for the department's reputation. It's good for the department's relationship with the community. It'll even make security more effective. Thank you, and be safe.